Hello, I'm Buddy the Doll here on the Motherboard Zoro YouTube channel, bringing the unboxing of the ASUS Rampage 4 Gene Motherboard. Squirrel! <laughs> So starting off, let's just pop the little top right here and let's just see some of the features that ASUS is talking about. Right off the bat, it has the Supreme FX3. This is the onboard audio solution. It has Supreme Sound. You see we have Sound Blaster X and also EAX 5.0 and THX for those people who want to watch movies and all that other stuff. Jumping down, we can see it features the Extreme Engine Digi Plus 2. This is optimal power efficiency with premium components and intelligent digital design. This is basically the MOSFETs and all that stuff and how the board works within itself to keep it running cool and great for overclocking. Moving down the box, we see that we have a little feature here that's called game first and we see it's the speed you need to pawn when you're playing games online latency is something that helps keep you moving fast so that you don't get fragged by other people with this new stuff it actually helps improve your latency so that you're not getting fragged all the time we'll see that more when we jump into the review we're going down further in the box we see we have the max tweakability the mem tweak it dynamic timing adjustments for dram efficiency gauge this is so you can actually just really super fine tune your memory settings which comes in great for overclocking then we've got the rog connect this is a little thing that you actually plug in the mac of your motherboard and you can do all of your overclocking through the rog connect it's pretty cool now some people out there might say that it's not rog but here it clearly says rog and so the pronunciation for those three nomenclatures is rog there we go we're going to jump down see the bundled software they got the daemon tools all you game pirates out there you know exactly what the heck that is you use it every day it comes with some kaparsky antivirus hey if you need it you use it i use something different but it's here and lastly we have the rog cpu z this shows you how your cpu is doing it shows you the speed that it is and everything else here's just a quick look at the back of the box now let's jump in to the actual unboxing all right, so now let's pop the top. Let's take a look here. Let me take out this little plastic cover right here. And this time we'll actually start off and we'll take a look at the motherboard itself. I'm gonna go ahead and try to just pull this out of here. It's kind of locked in the little cardboard here. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of there. We'll go and take a look at this nifty stuff afterwards, but let's do this backwards. And this time we'll actually take a look at the board itself. So check it out. You can see there's great cooling all across all of the MOSFETs, the chipsets, everything is being completely cooled off. Got a really nice big giant heat pipe up here on top. It's gonna to keep everything running really cool. Obviously the color scheme is really cool, but what really kind of trips me out is like these colors, the red and the black, these are actually AMD colors, but yet lots of guys who like these colors are gonna still use them in their Intel build. It's kind of funny. We've got one fan connector right here. It's hard to see. They're going to move over here. We have the 8-pin power connector up here on top. I'll try to angle the motherboard so you guys can possibly see that better. Moving over here, we have another fan connector. And then over here, yet another fan connector. Lots of good fan connectors on here. Right here, this is the LED. This is going to tell you if you have any errors on your motherboard. It's going to blink out a couple numbers right here. Inside of the motherboard guide, it'll tell you what is actually wrong with your motherboard. Hopefully, you never see those numbers be anything but 100% solid. Right over here, we have the 24 pin power connector. And on the side over here, the USB 3.0 connector is usually blue, but on this particular motherboard, it's red to match the color scheme as the rest of the motherboards. The Zip 2011, this supports all of the latest Intel i7 Extreme CPUs, including the 3960, which we use in a lot of our other testing. For memory, you can use 32 gigabytes of maximum. This is four channel memory or quad channel memory, depending on what to call it. But it's basically just dual channel memory relabeled to fit more slots. So we've got two here, two there. Kind of interesting, it's on both sides of the board. And around the area right here, we do have quite a bit of room. So hopefully most of the aftermarket CPU coolers and water coolers will be able to mount on there very easily. We're gonna move down now. We'll see for our PCI, we have one, two, three of the PCIe 16X slots. And then we have a single PCIe 4X slot right there. Moving down, we have a couple things to look at. We have the start and the restart button that are right there. Then we have the go button located right here. This right here is the Supreme sound effects thing. I don't know if I can get this in an angle without getting the glare to see it. I'll try to move this around a little bit if you guys can see it. I'm gonna try to just get this up with the camera, but this is the Supreme effect sound solution. It's right here. It's all covered. It's got its own little cover there to keep it going good. 
Here we take a look at the SATA connections. All of these are the new SATA 3 that support the six gigabit a second transfer rate. We also see that there's two different types of chipsets on here. We're gonna have the Intel and then the other one, which is going to be the Marvell. So we're gonna start off over here. We see that we have a legacy PS2 keyboard mouse. Over here, we have two of the USB 2.0 ports. We have three more of those here and two more of those there. For the USB 3.0 ports, we have two right here. We also have powered East SATA here. And then we have a Dr. Moss and the ROG button that are here. I don't know which one's exactly which, but right here is also the SPDF for your audio. They don't have any coax. Most people don't use that anyway, but you do have the SPDIF, which is the most common one anyways. And then over here are all of your 7.1 audio connections for analog. So that's pretty much it. I know that a lot of you guys like a lot of features in the unboxing. I try to bring as many as possible. But we're going to move past the board now and let's take a look at the contents or the bundle. We'll start off right here. These are all the connectors that connect to your motherboard to make all connections to your case and everything else really simple. You just plug these in and plug your wiring into that. These are all your SATA cable labels. If you want to be able to memorize what you have going to where, you can use these pretty cool stuff. Here is the rod connect. This is for the overclocking. We talked about that earlier. You can just connect it in directly overclock through it. And this is the cable that comes with it for doing the rod connect. We also have the rear IO shield. It's very nice. It's black and very clearly labeled so that you can see everything on it and know what you're plugging in. We have one SLI cable. Then we have the user's manual, the Rampage 4 gene. We have a really cool sticker right here. This little sticker, it peels off, so you have a really cool sticker right here for your Republic of Gamer stuff. We have the drivers and installation CD. We have a gaming little thing for your door. You hang on the door, you know, the do not disturb I'm gaming thing. We know we talked about that, we've seen that before. Just laughing out. And then we got one, two, three of the new SATA 3 cables. So here's everything that comes in it. So it's basically the motherboard and all this stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Today was the Rampage 4 Gene Motherboard Unboxing. Look for the full review in the next following week.